Welcome to DMT Chemistry World. All of you ready to observe the video? No? Yes. Today let us start the class. Before I want to start the class, so last video I gave homework no to complete the table. How many of you did that complete the table? Yes, let us see. So last class we discussed about the characteristic properties of matter. So let us compare these properties of matter with three states. Okay. Here is a table. Let us fill the table just to check it. Okay. So comparison of characteristics of matter. So here characteristics are given. Here is a 4 in the list. This is states of matter is given. Solids, liquids and gas. So you know according to the definition the three characteristics are in the definition only. So which are that? The shape size and volume you know already these three what the characteristics how differ for three states of matter which is fixed which is not fixed already you know in the definition let us move for the next characteristics what is the next characteristics arrangement of molecules <coughs> in solids how they are arranged yes are the closely packed or packing of the molecules how they are arranged in solids, how they are closely packed. Yes, you know, in solids, the molecules are closely packed. See how they are closely packed, like I told no. So, you just imagine a teacher and a student in the classroom, how the students are uh, sit in a systematic manner. Whereas in case of liquids, you know, so they are what? Loosely packed. Loosely what? Packed. Loosely packed. So how the students behaves in the absence of the teacher? So they are not so. Then in case of gas, so how they are is they are arranged, they are no alignment. So they are what? Freely. They are freely or free to move. Okay. Let's come to movement of molecules. So because here they are closely packed, the molecules are not moving. So how they are vibrate in their position because of the close packing. They are vibrate from position. In case of liquids, so because they are loosely packed, they move upon one another. Like how the students in the absence of teacher, they move around the classroom. So like that. Okay. They move upon one another. They move one upon one another. Whereas in case of gas, because there is no packing, so they are free to move in any direction in the haphazard movement. Like how the students outside the classroom, they are moving haphazardly in all direction. So similarly in gas, the molecules are free to move haphazardly in all direction with great speed. So they what? Move haphazardly with what great speed. So, this is how the movement of molecules in the three states of matter. Kinetic energy, you know, what is the kinetic energy? You told energy of a particle or a molecule due to its motion, due to its movement. More the motion, movement, more the energy. See, in case of solids, they are not moving, just vibrating. So, hence, they have what? Least kinetic energy because the particles are not moving, just vibrating. In case of liquids, because they little move upon one another, they have what? High kinetic energy. They have high kinetic energy. Okay. In case of gas, 
the particles are moving with a great speed so they have what highest highest kinetic energy or you can say least high and highest kinetic energy because of the particles are moving with a great speed intermolecular force you know in case of what wow, the solids they are closely packed hence there is a strong force of attraction hence in case of what wow, the solids that intermolecular force is very strong it what very strong whereas in case of liquids because the molecules are loosely packed so they have what not much strong it is what wow, weak intermolecular force whereas in case of gas there is no packing they are free to move hence the intermolecular force almost no intermolecular force we can say almost it is absent so like that we can discuss the what the characteristic properties of solids liquids with respect to these four characteristic we compare so let us move to so other the properties so which is the the next one s yes. which is the next one inter s yes, fifth one it is inter molecular this is force this is what space we know the space between the molecules you know in solids almost they are tightly packed so there is no space actually intermolecular space almost what no intermolecular space or almost it is what absent in liquids how intermolecular space there is a little intermolecular space there is a what little inter intermolecular space in case of gas what it is large intermolecular space you know is a large intermolecular space so next we shall move on to the with the sixth one which is the sixth one yes the sixth one the sixth property is what is the sixth property it is none other than compressibility compressibility what is compressibility bringing the molecules closer applying some pressure so to bring the molecules some closer some space is required if more is more the space what more easily you can bring by applying the what the the pressure but in case of solids there is no space to bring the molecules to closer hence they are non compressible non compressible they are non compressible we cannot compress the what solids we cannot compress in case of liquid so what is there in case of liquids because of small there little intermolecular space we can bring the molecules little closer with little force hence what they are less compressible less compressible okay but whereas in case of the gas there is a large intermolecular space is there hence we can bring the molecules closer and closer by applying the the force hence they are what they are large or highly compressible they are highly what compressible they are highly compressible so like that we can compare the compressibility thus the last one we discussed is what the seventh one you know it is none other than what diffusion so for diffusion again the what intermolecular space is required to diffuse that means the one molecules can occupy the position of intermolecular other molecules and other molecules occupy the intermolecular space position of the another molecules so this is possible only if it is a large intermolecular what space since almost here the intermolecular space is what the absent so there is no possibility of what 
the diffusion if you if you bring two solids contact with each other there is no diffusion hence what this is non diffusible non diffusible there is no these solids are non diffusible but in case of what liquids so they are what because of little intermolecular space they are what little diffusible or less diffusible you can say less diffusible i gave already example for that i put a drop of ink into the water it diffuses but in case of what the gases they are similarly like how because of large intermolecular space so they are diffusible when two non reacting gases bring contact with each other the molecules of one gas take the position of the other intermolecular space other gas okay they are also what highly compressible highly what diffusible so this is how we can compare the what the characteristic properties of the three states of matter with respect to intermolecular space compressibility diffusion intermolecular force then what moment of particles intermolecular space then kinetic energy so this is how we can you just remember this what the table in order to understand the characteristic of matter it's a very easy to remember so in the next video using this what we can discuss actually the application of the states of matter and how these what the characteristics play an important role in the application of the states of matter yes students let us stop the class okay we'll continue in the next class yes